Hey, what's going on, BrewTube? It's your host, Shannon Harris, a.k.a. The Brew Brother, and thank you for tuning in to another unboxing video. Today, we got Hanna Instruments, and I'm going to be presenting and unboxing their brand new Beer Halo Bluetooth pH meter. Alright, so I've been chatting with the team over at Hanna Instruments and I have been blessed with the opportunity to test out, sample, dive in head first with their brand new pH meter called the Beer Halo. Comes in awesome packaging as you can see here. Got it uh, just before my last couple of brew days and so far I am highly impressed with the way that this product has been constructed and the feet and the actual results that I've been getting with this product has been mind-blowing so now that we got this box open come with a quick start instruction guide which I think is very helpful for those of you who are new to using pH meters or those who are experienced I mean you always want to know exactly how to work the product also comes with an electro quality certificate this certificate comes with a lot of information, even hand signed by the production manager. There's also a different person who does the actual inspections on the unit. Seems that they did a couple of tests with the 4.01 pH range all the way up to 7.01. And they did it in different temperature ranges ranging from about 60 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit and all got passing check stars whatever you want to call it so it seems like this is a good product seems like they tested this one out so i shouldn't even have to worry about it they also look like they did a water bath with it to try to test if it's waterproof now according to their website and the information i've been reading by them it seems that one can actually take ph readings up to 212 degrees fahrenheit I'm not brave enough to do that myself with the product, but I have took in some pH ranges during my mash temps, which is anywhere between 148 degrees Fahrenheit up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, and I've been able to get consistent readings, although I have only used this product twice on two beers. So here's the packaging on the inside. Looks like it comes with some storage solution, which is always a good thing to have with these uh, high-end pH meters because you damn sure don't want your electrode to dry out on you and pretty much become useless. Uh, got some cleaning solutions so you can make sure to keep that electrode and the actual pH meter cleaned at all times. I think that is actually pretty good to have right there. Um, I'm not the type of guy that I like to clean, uh, especially my brewing equipment with like Dawn or any other kind of soap. I usually use PBW or OxyClean Free. But that's also some good thing to have on hand right there. Got some buffer solution. So if it ever, for some reason, this product does not stay calibrated, they give you some solution and not stingy with it. Those of you who know about other pH meters, you order, they only give you like the, the powdered form of it and maybe only give you one uh, sample or solution to use to actually get your thing buffered so you're always on Amazon or somewhere trying to search for more like down to the 7.01 still not stingy two packs never gonna have enough of that now let's get to this actual pro already when I first unboxed this myself I fell in love with this product just because of the build of it very simple very sleek awesome design titanium pro all glass electro which I'll take uh, this storage case off in a minute you actually have the actual halo itself has a battery in it that'll be easily replaced i think the battery is the same as you'll find in your basic watch um, let's go ahead and take this off so it looks like the storage case is all silicone actually comes in a little bit of storage solution i'm gonna set that over here for a second because i really don't want to lose that or spill that um, there you are with the actual electrode that comes into it. It's made out of all glass, titanium body. Not saying that it's drop proof, but I'm pretty sure it can withstand some type of damage. Um, hopefully, knock on wood, I never have to experience that at all. Uh, very, very beautiful looking design. It's all controlled via Bluetooth as far as your readings go. 
comes with a lap. I have an iPhone, so the app may look different on my phone than what it does for everyone else. I think I am connected to Bluetooth, so let's go and power this on. All you have to do is just hold on to the center button here. You click on that, and then now your actual halo is going to be blinking blue to let you know that it's ready to be synced or located by your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected and set up. It has a little Bluetooth link here in the corner. All you have to do is just tap on that, slide this little bar over to be green, and you'll see that the blinking of the actual beer halo has slowed down a bit. That will let you know that you are connected. And there we are to let you know that you are connected. It should take you to an actual screen that is on the app to let you know exactly where everything are. They got a battery meter to let you know exactly how much battery life you have on the actual meter. Also has the condition that it's in. Everything looks great. Your last calibration date. I may want to go ahead and calibrate that again myself. If you can see that it has been last calibrated on August 27th, which was one of my last brew days. It even keeps a record of your slope to let you know what type of solution that you were definitely calibrating at and the actual reading and temperature range and all that that you did. Um, it also has your actual pH, of course, which is a good thing, and the temperature of your reading, which would be most important. Um, like I said, you can be brave and take readings up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. We all know that we would like to take most of our readings at room temperature, but with the build of this beer halo, you can take it at many ranges, taking samples right from the mash, and don't have to wait for it to chill and cool down before you take a reading. I have taken readings myself as low as, I believe, 65, 68, and just right out of the mash, and it was completely stable and right on point, so I do believe in the temperature fluctuations. So there you are. Currently, Maybe from the actual store solution, it says that we have 5.81, 82 is fluctuating in there. Temperature is 77 degrees, letting everyone know it's warm as hell in my house right now. Let's go ahead and set this bad boy here for a second. I actually do have a Berliner Weiss uh, that I've been working on. So make sure you guys, which I think is actually the perfect type of beer style to let you know the different ranges uh, that this pH meter can actually read at. And another cool feature about it is that this meter will store all readings per whatever recipe or beer or wine or whatever you're working on to let you know the stages that it was actually reading at. Especially something that's important if you're doing Berliners or Sours because you kind of want to understand what your pH was at the beginning of fermentation in the middle through fermentation and always at the end of fermentation to let you know that your beer is at the right pH for the whole souring process. So we're just going to stick this bad boy in here now. Seems like the sample is just a little chilly. And then we can go ahead and see where we're at. So as you can see that the pH has actually dropped a bit. We're at about 3.45, 3.4 range, temperature steady dropping. That's letting me know exactly where I want to be. I'm hoping with this recipe I stay in the 3.4 range. That's kind of where I want it to be with this particular style of beer. And it looked like it's trying to hold. I'm going to give it a little swirl to see if it changes a bit counterclockwise. And you can see it is dropping, but it's staying at that 3.4. That is absolutely awesome. I'm happy about that. Definitely could be a good beer. Let's get a sample. Pretty tough. So yeah, that is the Beer Halo. Pretty awesome, awesome brand that you have here with Hannah Instruments. They have all types of pH meters from ones you can use in gardening to you can use in food. And now we have one for all of the brewers out there such as myself. And I think whether you are a home brewer or a commercial brewer, the Beer Halo can be a great asset to beer tools and equipment that you have in your brew house. Um, like I said, with reading temperatures or reading the pH readings, you don't have to wait for the temperature to get cool. You can get them while they're warm. You can get them while they're hot. I personally don't want to go high as far as 212 as the site says, but if you can read from the Electro Quality Certificate, they tested it all the way up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit with no issues, still 
proved it, stamped it, said it was good to go to be sent out. So make sure you guys check out Hannah Instruments. The link will be in the bio of this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, click that link, and you'll be able to read more information on their website. The link will also be on my social media handles such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can always follow Hannah Instruments as well. And they're very responsive on social media if you have any further questions that I didn't answer in this video today. Hopefully down the road I'll be able to use this pH meter much more and I will do another video as a follow up to see if my views and love for this device has changed at all. Hopefully it doesn't. So thank you again for tuning in. I'm a big fan. Hopefully this video will help you make a decision when it comes to choosing the right pH meter for your brewing needs. Until next time, cheers.